Greetings Flight Sim fans and today I've been uh, doing some testing of the Fidgets uh, LED64 Advanced board which I've just had delivered. Um, these are around about 120 quid uh, from the Fidgets website. I managed to pick mine up second hand uh, from somebody on one of the Sim groups so thanks a lot George uh, you saved me an absolute bundle uh, so I really appreciate that. Um, as you can see I've actually managed to get the um, board working um, very very easily in fact uh, once I received it uh, all I did was uh, connect the LED wires to the cables provided connected it up to the computer there was a USB cable and um, power supply for the board all included and then what I did was uh, hang on a second get into pause uh, yeah, sorry about that. And then I went on the Fidgets website and I found the uh, software for all the Fidget stuff. I guess it's for all the Fidget stuff. Um, I've only got the board, so this is my first thing that I've bought. Uh, I've got the impression that you only need to install it once. So my like really crappy computer I'm using at the moment just to test stuff is 32 bits. So I down downloaded that one. Um, when that uh, that's kind of installed something on my um, kind of running in the background menu and so what you get is this and then what I found was that when you double click on this bit here it starts this up and then you can kind of configure each LED individually what you want it to do now I am using 5 volt LEDs but I found that the brightness is pretty good with 3.9 volts uh, you can see that kind of from here and that's what it looks like close up. My bodged together um, master caution panel for my A10. And you can then, so I'm going to just alter the LED brightness uh, and I'll say so take it all the way down so you can kind of see I've turned off that one down there. And then if I ramp up that to say halfway, you can kind of see it's not as bright as the other ones probably that's probably slightly better for filming with actually but trust me when I'm looking at it kind of with my own eyes rather than through the camera the brighter ones are, are actually better so anyway um, that's kind of that um, I think that this kind of 3.9 volt thing when you change that you change it for all the LEDs rather than just the one that you're working on but this brightness is like a specific to the LED that you happen to be looking at um, so that's all I know about it I don't really know what this is but I do know that when I moved it kind of loads of warning things came up so basically don't move it uh, that's what I'm saying anyway rambled on a little bit there so uh, hope you enjoyed it um, there'll be more coming from this soon um, and see you on the next one thanks bye